Here in Kansas City, change is not just a possibility, it's a promise. A staple in this city, the World War I Museum is keeping that promise. The building that you're in right now opened in 2006. So it's been almost 20 years since the main gallery saw any kind of major upgrades. So what we're doing right now is we're upgrading the main gallery, kind of space by space, adding in new technology and different ways of interpreting World War I. Even though construction won't be complete until 2025, visitors can still see many attractions. See some artifacts and some pictures, some true things. However, these museum experiences are not only benefiting adult visitors. I love the students and, and getting them excited and um, doing something different than what they can do in the classroom, getting to use primary sources, uh, see things that were actually in uh, World War I, and use that to grow on what they get to learn from textbooks in the classroom. Education has changed in the last hundred years since the museum opened. With this being said, improvements are necessary. We know that kiddos are learning very differently than maybe a 50 or 60 year old might. They might engage with technology or reading differently. And so updating some of this technology and helping people uh, learn in the best ways that they learn naturally is really important to us. The World War I Museum prioritizes learning in order to prevent the past. For Trojan TV News, I'm Lini Grego along with Ella Allegri.